I'm joined by Gina Akers, who is the beauty expert on BBC One's Fake Britain, and she's presented beauty on this morning. Uh, Gina, good morning. Thanks Hello. for joining us. Hey, you're welcome. Now, what are you doing here today? Why are you here? Well, I'm here for one major reason, and that's because I'm trying to promote um, a campaign at the moment. I'm working alongside Habia, who are the Hair and Beauty Industry Authority. Uh, they actually write and get involved with the qualifications in the industry, and it's the National Occupational Standards, so it's the nationally recognised qualifications. They're actually appointed by the government to do that role. So they're very, very important in the industry. There's no one else that has that role in the, within um, England. Um, what I'm promoting is their professional registers, which have recently been launched. Um, they're registers for beauty, nails and spa. What that means is that if you're a professional and you're qualified to MVQ Level 2 or equivalent, you can go onto the registers. So it separates people that are qualified to the national occupational standards, nationally recognised qualifications, um, as opposed to, say, you've just done a one-day course or an introductory course doesn't make you a professional beauty therapist or professional spa therapist or professional nail technician it's just not enough on a consumer side it helps consumers feel that they're in good hands and they're in trained and qualified hands so consumers can actually go onto the websites look up a therapist's name uh, or nail technician's name and they can check what qualifications that nail technician and therapist has they also know if they are listed on that site immediately they know that they're level two qualified or equivalent or even above that uh, so it's a very very useful resource from a consumer's point of view as well that makes a lot of sense because then you've got that peace of mind as the consumer um, why would you say Olympia Beauty is so important uh, Olympia Beauty is vitally important and um, the beauty shows are just amazing it's a platform for finding out everything you want to know in the professional side of the beauty industry or the updates or the new news it's lovely to meet everybody again that you've met before new people as well catch up with old contacts um, networking I've probably already said that there's just so, yeah. so many things going on it's not just all about products it's about people as well and about bringing the industry together um, which I think is a really fabulous and important thing to do both from if you're a beauty therapist to a supplier to if you're a magazine or a publication you might even be like yourselves <laughs> making you know TV about beauty as well and bringing that to customers at home now talking of connecting I mean Olympia Beauty is vast who are you looking forward to going to visit or who are you looking forward to checking out well we were talking about networking and, and sort of that sort of bringing the industry together there's a stand actually called pamper pad which is really really innovative I'll explain what pamper pad is it sounds like it might be something that you know you take your sort of um, makeup off with at the end of the day but I guarantee it's not it's a lot more than that it's like an online hub um, where you can find out anything you want to know beauty related um, with the aim of, of sort of if you're looking for a beauty therapist in your area you can find one on there if you're looking for jobs you'll be able to find those on there so it's quite an early days in its infancy but I think it's going to be really nice for bringing both the professional side of beauty and also for consumers bringing them together um, for that information that you're looking for just a fabulous hub and advice point really and also with a social feel as well so I think that's quite exciting that's pamperpad.com uh, and also other things that I've been enjoying looking at is smart polish which little plug for smart polish because they've been very kind to me and they provided me with my nail polish today which is strawberry mousse Ooh. you like <laughs> it's nice isn't it nice for autumn winter yes I know and I'm, I'm, I've got to admit I'm not a red person with nail colours I'm actually quite I don't want to say boring but I, I, I like my sort of you know sort of nail colours to be sort of a little more subdued so I normally go for nudes like pinks kind of blushes maybe like a dusky pink but this is a red it's a little softer and I feel I can sort of handle this one so that's smart polish so they're definitely worth keeping an eye out for um, what I really love and professionals will appreciate this you haven't got to it's a gel polish and you haven't got to take off the sticky layer of residue in between so it saves you a lot of time and obviously we know as therapist time is money and, and that's very important plus sometimes clients just don't have the time to wait around they want to get on with it they're only on their lunch break or they've got to go and get, pick the kids up from school whatever it may yeah. be um, so yeah it's really really good for that um, other things uh, Linton lasers are always good for technology if you like your science and beauty um, in beauty and technology which I always love uh, fabulous things happening on the Jane Airedale stand as well mineral makeup um, I'm very very keen on sort of beauty sort of makeup with beauty benefits I'm really keen on that and I think that's going to be a huge sort of trend ah. going forward yeah I wanted to know about that because yeah. you get to see everything as an expert yes. give me some predictions coming up autumn winter well definitely I mean eyebrows are just everybody's still going crazy for eyebrows I don't think we're going to see that trend going away but I think what we're seeing rather than just the thick eyebrows that really became fashionable sort of in, in recent times um, we're seeing all sorts of shapes again now and it's kind of calmed down not so much really thick 
thin ones, but we're seeing very, very bespoke eyebrows. And you can have, you know, whatever you want. Um, other thing, bespoke tanning, which I really, really like as well. What is that? Bespoke tanning um, is basically having a tan that suits you. So now you've got such a range of products on the market available, especially on the professional side and when you go to salons, um, that you can actually sort of, you know, whether it's a mousse, whether it's a cream, whether it's, I mean, there's even tanning oil. Have you seen the tanning oil? That's fabulous. So if you've got a dry skin, which I'm prone to drier skin, and I find that tanning creams can sometimes dry my skin out, you can use a tanning oil. Again, on the legs, it's just amazing. That sheen looks really, really lovely. Um, Saint Tropez actually doing one with a nice shimmer in it. So that's really, really lovely. Um, they've got some really fabulous new products, actually. And then you've also got the uh, Moroccan tan with Sweet Squared as well, which I'm heard is about. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but that's what these shows are for. So, yeah, I should be trying that out in a while as well. Oh, amazing. You've given us so many tip-offs. Gina, thank you very much for You're joining welcome. us at Beauty Crowd. I enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.